Hey down below, this is Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I definitely have an issue that I've been meaning to get into for a while now. I am definitely nervous talking about this, just knowing that the feedback that I'm going to get is probably going to be crazy. But keep in mind there already is some sort of fan war over this. I am not starting it, I'm just here to talk about it. This is of course about the BTS remix with Jason Derulo, and there have been some issues that have been talked about due to the rollout of the remix. And of course this involves Blackpink too. We also have Jungkook trending worldwide, and a lot of people have been saying what is going on with that. So definitely that is a fun and lighter tea we'll see for the end. So let's get into it. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, I'd like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's get into it. The first thing that I want to get into is of course the release of the new Jason Derulo remix with BTS in there. BTS is going to put their vocals on it. Can you believe? This if you do not know was confirmed a few days ago that it was going to be Jason's song Savage Love and it was was going to be released with a new remix with BTS in there. And it was supposed to come out October 2nd. Now I think I've seen the remix kind of floating around already and it currently is the first so I don't know. I haven't listened to those remix yet. They might be fake, they might be real, they might be leaked, whatever it is. But I am definitely excited to hear it when it officially drops. Like when BTS says here you go. Jason Derulo of course was seen liking BTS's stuff and then BTS participated in the Savage Love TikTok dance. So of course a lot of armies were then suspecting that this collab was going to happen. And then when it finally was announced, a lot of armies were already super excited. It's always a good old grand time when we hear that BTS is going to be collaborating with an American artist, even as a remix, because the song is definitely going to sound very unique and different. However, there is an issue of Blinks or Blackpink fans having some issues with this. The fact that specifically Blackpink Rosé is going to have a music video dropping on October 2nd the same day that the remix is going to be dropping. So having of course two pieces of work released on the same day, it is seen to be taking away attention from each other. Because we assume that there probably is a lot of overlap between Blackpink fans and BTS fans. And of course if they divide their time stream in both, one piece of work wouldn't get as much streams as it would have gotten. As of course you can imagine first day streams are definitely very important. So definitely a lot of stuff have been happening over on the tweetster on this debate here. One person actually wrote this. Yeah, BTS is going to be on a remix remix of Savage Love by Jason Derulo, but it comes out like on the same day Blackpink releases their title track, so Blinks are upset. And we'll get more into this very very soon. There are of course other people who understood also the frustration that some of the Blinks might have been having, writing this. Counter question, if Blackpink releases a remix on the day BTS has come back, what will be your reaction? Now I do have to say and point out that it is a remix. It's really not that big of a deal. I definitely don't think that this will take away anything from Blackpink. I think those who will stream will probably still stream anyway and even if a BTS didn't release anything, ARMYs would probably go and stream an old BTS song and they probably wouldn't stream a Blackpink song anyway. But since we do have both, people can still buy both and people will still stream both. However, I can definitely understand any possible frustration as this has happened before. Big Hit released the Stay Gold music video the same day that YG announced that How You Like That was going to be dropping. So they both dropped on the same day probably like just a few hours apart. Now I'm not saying that what has happened is these two labels are competing with each other because we don't really know that, but some healthy competition is always okay if this is the case. I think Big Hit has a lot of music videos in the works that they just haven't released. I mean BTS puts out songs like constantly and they have a ton of songs so when Blackpink happens to be releasing something, it could literally just be a coincidence that BTS ends up releasing something too. Blackpink actually did end up getting their own moment with ice cream and BTS could have easily dropped dynamite around the same day if they wanted to do that, but both music videos did have their own little moment. I feel like if Big Hit wanted to really tear down YG or Blackpink, they would release something big on the day Blackpink releases something big. You know what I mean? Like a remix isn't going to take anything away from Blackpink. It's not like an official music video. People will just stream the remix later if they feel like streaming it later. And if they want to support Blackpink's music video first, they'll go ahead and do that. Also, a lot of stuff gets released every day. I'm probably going to talk about the song, wink wink, if you want me to. That doesn't mean that I'm trying to compete with the music video. It just means I'm putting a video out. Also, BTS and Blackpink make really different music. So for the most part, it's different fan bases and different interests. When I talk about Blackpink, most armies aren't interested, totally understandable. It would be dumb for Big Hit to put out a music video that let's say they had been teasing for a long time and make it the same day as Blackpink's music video. Of course, a lot of armies have chosen not to argue with this. I think that is definitely a very mature response. Mature. And it's a very nice response. Noise. 
Just enjoy your music, enjoy your thing. And fan wars like this that do take away from the music. When people come into a fandom and they see stuff like this, and then they realize they don't want to be a part of this because of the fan war, they're going to stop listening to the music. And even dislike the artist. This is just what happens. Now, a lot of Blinks, I can totally understand why they'd be upset. Obviously, they want an entire day to themselves. However, it does seem like a lot of armies wouldn't care if it was reversed, if YG decided to release something when BTS's music video comes out. So maybe Blackpink fans and Blinks shouldn't care either. Personally, as someone who is a fan of the music and someone who really tries not to get into these arguments over on Twitter. But then I guess I make a video talking about it. But it does need to be talked about. Anywho, I enjoy the music and I stream whatever I want to stream. And of course, I want to support both my babies. They both deserve it. Blackpink and BTS are just a topic of discussion for a long time and have a lot of opinions on what they do, being that they're both so huge. They obviously also both get a lot of unnecessary hate, but that is a story for another time. Jungkook has recently been getting into a lot of attention and even decided to trend on Twitter worldwide. This was crazy. BTS has been making their way into talk shows and just really promoting themselves. But BTS was on the Tonight Show with the Jimmy Fallon, the Jimster, not to be confused with the Jiminster. BTS ended up performing the song Idol, which is kind of random, I think. But hey, it's a bop, a throwback bop. So I am definitely glad to hear it. Of course, when BTS even breathes on stage, us armies die. We go a little bit crazy, just a little bit. People began tweeting online. People were excited. They were enjoying the hype. You also saw a little Jungkook with slightly a different hairstyle, a sexy the new hairstyle. If you did not know, Jungkook likes to grow out his hair, just slightly more than the other members because his hair isn't in great condition to be bleaching all the time. So he grows it out just to be able to have different styles. So in this case, his hair was long enough for him to have a man bun, put it in a hot and sexy man bun. I don't find man buns to be too hot, but on Cookie? Oof! Who set my house on fire? Jungkook immediately climbed to the top of the trending tab on Twitter, all due to this performance. And a lot of people were tweeting about the man bun. So much so that the employees or whatever over on Twitter had to write a little blurb on the top trend to kind of let people know what was going on. Tell people why Jungkook's name was trended again, our king. Also, why over a million people were talking about him. Also, keep in mind, it was not just the man bun that set armies off into a whole nother world. Can a man bun really do that though? Jungkook also decided to show a lot of chest. But honestly, I need to say something to you, Cookie. The audacity you have to kill us armies after all we've done for you. The nerve. Do you think we're going to be okay after seeing your chest? I am in the hospital right now. Jungkook had these fierce eyes during the performance. And honestly, it was a dope performance. They keep getting better and better with these songs. He really did slay and kill the performance as well. I definitely wanted to see what other people on the tweet start were saying about this. Jungkook is such a trendsetter. I mean, his presence itself is so huge. He's always been a fierce performer, but these days his aura is different. His confidence is burning. His number one trending now. I totally agree. Jungkook's aura lately is completely different. He seems a lot more confident, you know? He definitely turns into a different person when he performs. Like you'll immediately notice his kind of stage presence. It's just like this star quality that you just can't explain. But then the moment you see it, you're just like, wow. I'm also glad he feels a little bit more confident, maybe a little bit more sexy. That's why he opened up the chest. Maybe he saw my videos and he was like, okay, this is for you, Dave. I'm kidding, of course, but Cookie, if you want to call me, maybe we can get dinner. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over to my Patreon, kind of check that out. I have a lot of exclusive content over there that you can't really get over here that I post on my Patreon due to copyright and things like that that I can't really post it on here. So you get things like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You also get like reality TV show reactions and all that stuff. Also, anything you contribute over there really helps give back to this channel and all that stuff. With that said, there are two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of the video. So click on one of those. See you over there. Bye.